Hello everyone, my name is Jayshana El Amin. I am a current senior at McKinley Technology High School and today I will be presenting my presentation titled Looking Back. So today I will be presenting two projects I've completed in the past courses of my computer science class. Both projects are composed of different computer languages and both display different ways to code. The first project shows a more bright and creative way of coding, while the second project is more simplistic and shows my understanding of coding. But they both show how I've grown because it shows how doing a simple task can lead to me creating a whole new algorithm. This project is called the zombie apocalypse. This project was created on scratch and it shows the difficulty of coding. The end goal was to get to av the avatar to the next room while fighting obstacles, zombies with a weapon. The challenge would be to get to the door without losing all of your health and each time a zombie comes in contact with you, you your health drops by 10 and in order to kill a zombie, the player must shoot two times. All right, here I will be showing a demo of the video game and located at the bottom of the slide is a link directly to the game. guide we will be discussing project number two this project is called the phone signal during this project we were tasked to make the character Tracy draw five rectangles there are 10 pixels wide 25 pixels apart and increased by 10 pixels each time here is a list of commands used in the code the speed command the I variable the range the four and the turning commands all of these commands help make Tracy move. Unfortunately, I will not be able to upload a demo of this project. Because the project was created last year during a course in Code HS, I am not able to revive that project. So here is a bloated image of the code that I have saved. In this slide, we will be comparing both projects, stating their similarities and differences. For the most part, both projects require different levels of coding, the commands to make the character move, and both projects have an end goal. But the difference is Scratch uses a mixture of programming languages, while CodeHS uses a Python programming language. The first project is, uses different levels, which creates more difficulty, and the second project had one end goal and one task. The first project allowed more room for creativity. Finally, I will be discussing how coding affected me. For the most part, the most important thing I've learned from coding is that it takes trial and error. Trial and error is key to success. There are multiple solutions to a problem and taking it one step at a time is okay. I've learned to be patient. Coding takes a lot of skill and strategy. I've also learned that my greatest strengths consist of creativity and critical thinking. I've learned I work best when giving a task where I could be more expressive with my code. However, my biggest areas for improvement will be my memorization skills. Learning different coding languages at once can be overwhelming, especially when learning commands and variables. The techniques are similar yet different. The most challenging moments were trying to solve certain lines of code based off my memory of command. Given a directive but no specific way to solve the problem can be confusing. It leaves the student to think for themselves and it uses what they've learned from the past, including coding in my future. In the future, I plan to major in early childhood education. I don't plan on having coding as a major factor in my career choice, however, experience with coding can be used to my advantage. I can contribute to app developments or website programs, which can benefit my future. For instance, if I got a job at a daycare center, I would be a part of the daycare and networking staff. I would be able to pitch ideas to the developers while taking care of the children. 
There are other ways I can include coding into my future career choices. Although I do not know exactly how, I know having a background in computers, even if it's basic coding, can help me in some type of way futuristically. Overall, I'm happy with my STEM choice in computer science. I'm glad that I got the knowledge I have from the past four years at McKinley Technology High School. I'm especially grateful for my teachers and the accessible websites that allow me to learn how to code. It wouldn't be too much of a bad thing to see coding again in the future. But thank you again.